beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today's recipe is inspired by my hard time series where I explore food and times of food scarcity and shortage. But this series I think is going to be more specifically about just getting by. The struggle of just getting by. So today I'm going to be making poor man's lobster, imitation lobster, mock lobster. So I used a couple recipes for inspiration. I will put their links down below. And the first one being Cowboy Kent Rollins. If you don't know him, he is everyone's favorite cowboy cook. I'll put the link to his YouTube channel down below. And I found a blog post as well, and I'll put that link down below as well. So in a nutshell, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a white fleshed fish, either cod or halibut, and we're going to be poaching it in a brine solution of either vinegar or lemon juice with some sugar. We're going to poach it and that's supposed to change the texture of the fish and make it more lobster-like. So I'm very curious about this technique. I've never done this before. It makes a lot of sense. It seems like the acid and the sugar would change the texture of the fish. But will it taste like lobster? I don't know. I just did a mock tuna steak recipe using watermelon and that looked spectacular. It looked very much like a tuna steak. But the taste was not tuna fish at all, not surprising, because it was watermelon. <laughs> but in this case, we're going to be using one seafood to mimic another seafood, so perhaps it won't be such a great leap. But we won't know till we make this. First things first, we're going to prepare our poaching solution. It's a couple quarts of water here. I'm going to add one cup of sugar and a half of a lemon. Now, some other recipes that I read, instead of using lemon, they use vinegar but some sort of acid added to the poaching solution to kind of change the structure of meat. So squeeze the juice into there and drop that in there. So that was probably a tablespoon or so of lemon juice. Ah, oh, it smells so good. All right, so we're gonna bring this to a boil. Now we're gonna bring that back to a rolling boil. So while that's coming up to temp, I'm going to prep my fish. I've got myself a beautiful cod filet. I'm gonna cut this into one inch steaks. We don't want these pieces to be too small, otherwise they'll flake apart while we're poaching them. So the water with our lemon sugar has come up to a boil. I'm gonna add a good pinch of salt to that as well. Now let's carefully place our cod pieces into the water. Gently. and we're going to poach these until they just come up to the surface. Now we want to be very gentle with the fish. Do not stir it. If we stir it too much or agitate the water too much, the fish will flake apart and we'll lose that kind of look of the lobster. This one's come up. That one has a nice little curve to it. Great. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on them. And then brush a little bit of butter on them. Fun. This one almost looks like a tail. Let's put that one there. I'm gonna add some parsley here, a little old bay, paprika too. Oh yes. Now for the moment I've been waiting for, will this taste like lobster? So while cooking, the little tail piece here kind of curled and I stacked up the two ends to kind of mimic the tail of the lobster. Very, very flaky, so it's definitely well cooked. Right off the bat, it feels, in terms of the flakiness, more like fish. Lobster has a pretty firm texture when it's cooked. It's very solid and if it's overcooked, it can be very rubbery. But let's give it a taste. I'll dip it in a little bit of butter. Mitsudakimasu. Mm. It tastes pretty good. It doesn't taste like lobster to me. It's definitely got a little bit of sweetness from that little bath that we gave it, which is nice. A little additional sweetness goes well with the flavor of the cod, which is fish but not fishy. If you have fresh fish, it should never ever ever taste fishy. It should just taste of the sea. And putting it in that bath of sugar and lemon juice does change the texture a little bit. It firms it up a bit. Mm -hmm. And it still flakes a lot like fish. It's very tender. It's not bad tasting and I think it would make a good lobster substitute in the sense of feeling like you've treated yourself, but it doesn't really taste or feel 
enough like lobster to me to convince me that, oh, this is, you know, lobster. Mm -hmm. So lobster has this reputation of being quite fancy and expensive, but did you know there was a time when no one wanted to eat lobster, that it was so prolific and considered disgusting that it was served to prisoners? And there was actually a law instituted that there could only be a minimum amount of lobster fed to prisoners because it was considered so unsavory and distasteful? Did you know that? Isn't that amazing? It, lobsters are kind of weird creatures in the sense they're kind of like crabs. They're bottom dwellers. They eat, you know, little bits of rotted things. And yeah, they're kind of, you know, they're crustaceans. Are they crustaceans? Actually, I think they are. They're arthropods for sure. And I believe they're crustaceans. My son would know this. He's the marine biologist in our family. And I will leave a little note at the bottom clarifying whether or not lobsters are crustaceans. I'm pretty sure they are. I don't think they're decapods. Are they decapods? Jeez, really revealing my inadequacy when it comes to marine biology. So there you have it, poor man's lobster. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share your getting by recipes down below with me. I want to see them. I know there are so many and I want to hear them and I will prepare them in the future series if you guys want to see them. I shared this video with your friends. It really helps me out. Follow me on social media, subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye.